Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The very first thing that I want to say is that let's not judge a book by the cover. I hope you got the point. I don't want to go into details, uh, but I just wanted to, you know, give you an idea that you know what I'm saying is important. How I look or where I'm from is not important. Okay, so uh, the next thing that I want to mention here is that my educational background is from the United States of America, but that doesn't make me confident to record this video. What makes me confident is the fact that I've been interviewing candidates for different positions for almost 13 years. And you know what? Please do not subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's uh, something funny, right? Because a lot of YouTubers said that please subscribe to our channel. But I'm saying the opposite. Um, please watch this video till the end. And if you find out that it's useful for you, and it can help you have a successful job interview, then you may subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to receive more useful videos like this in the future. Otherwise, you don't have to. So, uh, first of all, I want to mention three points before the interview. And then I'll be talking to you about common questions which are usually asked during uh, interviews. So the first point before interview is that I encourage you to do a lot of research about the organization where uh, you're supposed to have uh, the interview because it's very important uh, to know about the, you know, organization, about its background, about its uh, you know, influence in the environment or on the environment. And the second thing is dressing. Uh, I've, 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 uh, I've had interview with the, with the candidates who were not dressed properly. So they say, or it's a saying that first impression is the last impression. So try to dress uh, in a very proper way, in a very formal way. And uh, the next point is like, you know, try to get to location 10 to 15 minutes earlier because punctuality is the first thing, I mean, that is important for employees. So the first question uh, is usually uh, introduce yourself or tell us about yourself. Uh, I've noticed that some, um, you know, applicants or candidates uh, uh, have a very short answer to this question. Like they just say, my name is, you know, that and my father's name is that. And they don't really mean, I mean, uh, what your name is, what your father's name is, because they already have your resume. And some people just have very, very long answer to this question. Like they include each and everything. The reason I said to you, try to have enough information about the organization uh, and, you know, the job, the position that you applied for, is now try to mention your work experience related to the position that you have applied for. Uh, try not to mention your jobs at other organizations if they were for a very short period of time because employees really don't like, I mean, the kind of, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, the kind of candidates which have had jobs for a very short period of time. And like for six months you had a job and then you left that organization and then you had a job somewhere else for 10 or 9 months and then you left the organization because uh, they think that you are not trustworthy, that you are not, I mean, dedicated person. 
So try not to mention your work experience if you have had a job for a very short period of time with an organization and uh, if it's not related to the current you know position that you have uh, applied to uh, long stories including each and everything that's also kind of uh, boring I mean the answer to this question should not be too short like you just introduce yourself uh, you just mentioned your name, your father's name, and you know I've even heard like some candidates saying that I have these many brothers, and you know we live there, and my father's name is that. That's 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 not what they mean. I mean, they wanna see your confidence, they wanna see your dedication, they wanna see you know how enthusiastic you are about this job. Okay, so you should mention. Uh, your work experience related to this job, maybe your education background, you know, you talk for a few minutes. I mean, don't make it too short, don't make it too long. Uh, the second question is usually, what made you interested in applying to this? So earlier I told you that uh, try to have enough information, do some research about the organization. So pay some nice comments. It's, it's very effective, it's very impressive. Uh, what made me interested in applying to this job uh, is the, your uh, you know, respected organization, your, uh, you know, the fact that your organization is a, a very, very uh, professional organization, so I want to improve further. I want to have a good future, I want to gain more experience. That's what made me, you know, interested in applying to this job. And I really need this job uh, because I have to feed a big family. So they also want to know that how much you need this job. That's also important to, to, to mention. The, mo the next common question is that what makes you confident that we should hire you? Or, I mean, there could be different words, I mean, the same purpose. Or what makes you confident that you're a good candidate for this job? So here, talk about your, you know, enthusiasm, how enthusiastic you are. Talk about your strengths. Talk about your dedication. Talk about your, you know, loyalty. Bring an example that you know, I used to work with that organization and uh, because of my hard work, you know, that section of the, uh, of the organization improved a lot. I brought a lot of positive changes. So bring an example, you know, uh, something that you did, something great that you did in the past, you know. Uh, so try to convince them that they, they, they should hire you, you know. And be confident, try to have a sort of, you know, eye contact and uh, try to, 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 to talk with a lot of confidence. You know. uh, this is also a very, very common question. Some interviewers ask this question, where do you see yourself in the coming four to five years, for example? So what they mean is that it's a kind of, a uh, hard job to, to hire a new employee and, you know, train that employee and after they are familiar with the organization, even if you have a lot of experience, but it takes time, you know, in order to familiarize yourself with the new environment and, you know, with, with the rules and with their, you know, stuff that's going on, I mean, there. So it, it takes a few months. So, I mean, employers uh, are not interested in kind of employees who, who want to leave, I mean, the organization very soon. So they want to make sure that you want to continue your job for a great a deal of time. Uh, so a proper answer to this question according to my experience, according to my point of view, would be that I see myself in this organization if I'm hired for this position. So I want to set my goals. 
I want to gain experience and you know I want to get promotion and I want to keep working with this organization as long as uh, I'm needed here so uh, I've noticed that some some candidates you know uh, say that okay after two years I, I want to do my master I want to go abroad so I mean they're not gonna be interested in you if you say next year I want to go abroad I want to you know do my PhD do my master so I mean they they want to hire somebody who who will keep working I mean with the organization so yeah the best answer to this is that uh, you show some sort of dedication again you know you show some sort of, you know, uh, constancy, like you, you, you don't want to leave the organization. You want to work for a great deal of time with them. Uh, and the next uh, very common uh, question during interview is, uh, tell us about your last employee. So I've, I've heard, you know, a lot of candidates backbiting, you know, their last employees. Don't do that, please. Don't backbite your, you know, current or last employer. Even if you have a hard time over there, even if you are not satisfied with that organization, because uh, they think that if you leave our organization, you will be backbiting us uh, too. So say something nice. For example, I'm pretty happy with my job over there. Or I was pretty happy if you if you are currently jobless, for example, or if you know you still have the job and you have resigned and you know there like a little bit of time, so you still work there, but uh, your uh, resignation letter uh, has been approved and after a few weeks you will be leaving the organization. So now say something nice. I'm very happy with my current job, or I was very happy with my last job but i just wanted to change the environment i wanted to uh, work with a more challenging environment because you know i want to improve myself i want to become even stronger i want to gain more experience you know i've heard a lot of nice things a lot of nice you know points about your organization and that's why you know uh, i've applied to to to, to, to this this job so don't backbite your last employer because it's not gonna help you if you start backbiting you know the last employer because the reason i'm saying this i've, I've experienced I've, I've, I've noticed that you know somebody bragging that he had an experience of more than 20 years was backbiting last employee and it didn't look it didn't sound good okay so that's what i'm saying you know you got to be careful with that uh, how well you can deal with challenges and deadlines and uh, how well you can deal with, uh, for example, teamwork. Uh, again, I mean, this is my, um, for example, patient. This is my uh, enthusiasm. This is uh, one of my desires uh, to be in a very challenging environment. If there's no challenge, there's no improvement. And uh, I want to improve my skills. I want to gain more experience. So uh, I can deal uh, pretty well with, uh, with challenges and deadlines. And, you know, I am a hardworking employee. And uh, I work, uh, you know, properly. And I finish everything before uh, the deadlines. Uh, so just try to ensure the interviewer, the employer, that uh, you can deal with the challenges and with the deadlines and with the work stress and everything. Uh, sometimes employers, the interviewers ask the question, tell us about your strengths and weaknesses. So be honest about that. If you mention three or four of your strengths, mention at least one of your weaknesses because nobody is perfect. I mean, a human is not an angel, right? Everybody's got weaknesses and, and, and strengths. But, you know, talk about your strengths that can make uh, the uh, interviewer happy 
that's what they need. I mean, the kind of strengths that, 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 that I mean, uh, uh, you should have for a job in order to be able to do your job the proper way. Uh, but you may mention, you know, one or two of your weaknesses and you say, I've been working on my weaknesses to, to get rid of them, you know, to eliminate them. Uh, so be honest uh, and mention if you've got any kind of, you know, weaknesses uh, as well. Uh, and try to, to mention uh, your strengths in a more proper way, in a more, you know, enthusiastic way. And then uh, don't forget when you mention your weaknesses, don't forget to say that you've been working on eliminating your weaknesses. Okay, and uh, if they ask you that, because they want to make sure whether or not they can hire you, I mean, whether or not they can afford you, you know, salary. So what's your current income? Don't exaggerate it, please. A lot of, a lot of candidates, like if, if let's say their salary is like $1,000, their current income, they say three or four thousand, you know, it's not a good idea because who knows? I mean, uh, you might have had a very successful interview. Everything could have been okay with your interview. And if you exaggerate it, like, you know, you say like three or four times more than the salary, the income that you that you have at your current, uh, you know, job. So they may not uh, hire, hire you because it's, it's a part of the reality that each organization has a promotion system. So for the first few months, um, they won't be giving you the exact salary that they, that they have specified for that position because they want to make sure, they want to see, you know. Uh, how honestly you work for the organization, how loyal you are, I mean, to the organization, you know, how enthusiastic you are, how punctual you are, and I'm sure that each organization has a promotion system. So as soon as they find out that you are a very reliable and trustworthy and hardworking employee, they will definitely increase your, your salary, your income. Uh, if, I mean, even that's not a good idea, but if you exaggerate it a little bit, but it's, it's your decision, but I advise you not to, uh, say your salary four or five times, you know, more than what you get. Okay. Mm, why? And, and don't brag a lot. You know, I mean, I've, I, I forgot this to say it at the beginning. Some candidates brag a lot. Okay, they brag too much. And uh, of course, the person who has interview with you is somehow like kind of psychologist. Like if you've been interviewing, you know, and that's your job, like for many, many years, uh, you become a kind of psychologist. You can understand quickly, I mean, whether somebody is bragging or, or talking about the truth. So try to avoid bragging a lot about your background, like, you know, uh, I hope you know what I'm saying. So that's not a good idea uh, because e even even if that's true about you, so you know they may think that you're overqualified for the job. So according to the level of that organization, you know, talk about your background um, according to you know uh, what they expect because expectations are mutual, right? Employees have their own expectations and organizations have their own expectations. So, uh, <clears throat> I hope that uh, these tips and uh, these points will, he will help you have a very successful interview and uh, get the job, your fairy job that you, that you like. And if it happens, don't forget to come back and post your comments if, if this video helps you to have a successful interview and you get a good job, okay, the job that you like, that you're interested in. So do not forget to, to come back and, you know, leave a comment uh, and tell us about your experience. I mean, how this 
uh, video helped you you know have a good interview uh, have a great time bye bye good luck with getting a good job